Penguin Random House demands refund and threatens arrest as Prince Harry caught red-handed lying in new memoir. In an unexpected turn of events that has sent shockwaves through the literary world, Penguin Random House has taken a bold stand against Prince Harry, alleging that he misrepresented key facts in his much-anticipated memoir. The publisher's claims are not just limited to demanding a refund. They have even threatened legal action, including arrest, which has set the media abuzz with speculation and intrigue. Let's dive into the details of this unfolding drama, exploring the implications for both the Duke of Sussex and the publishing industry at large. The memoir that shook the world. When Prince Harry's memoir was announced, it was met with a mix of excitement and skepticism. Touted as an honest reflection of his life and experiences, the book promised to reveal behind-the-scenes anecdotes about royal life, mental health struggles, and his journey toward independence. However, the narrative took a controversial turn as readers began to dissect the contents closely. Initial reviews praised the memoir for its candor and emotional depth. However, as more readers engaged with the text, discrepancies began to emerge. Certain claims made by Harry about his upbringing and experiences within the royal family raised eyebrows. Critics began to point out inconsistencies, leading to a growing chorus questioning the authenticity of his account. The allegations. The tipping point came when Penguin Random House, the publishing giant responsible for distributing the memoir, announced that they had conducted an internal review. According to their findings, several statements made by Harry were not only misleading but outright false. This revelation prompted the publisher to issue a statement demanding a refund for all unsold copies of the memoir, citing breach of contract and failure to deliver a truthful account. In a bold move, Penguin Random House also mentioned the possibility of involving law enforcement, suggesting that Harry could face legal repercussions for allegedly misleading readers and the publisher. This unprecedented step has left many in the literary community stunned. How often do we hear of a publisher threatening to arrest an author over the content of a book? Public reaction. The public's response has been a mix of disbelief and intrigue. Social media platforms exploded with reactions, ranging from disbelief to outright support for the publisher's stance. Many fans of the royal family expressed their disappointment in Harry, feeling betrayed by what they perceived as a breach of trust. Others, however, rallied behind him, arguing that the memoir was a personal account, open to interpretation. Book clubs around the world have found themselves in heated discussions, with some members passionately defending Harry while others criticize his apparent lack of honesty. The controversy has undoubtedly rekindled discussions about the responsibilities of authors, especially those with the weight of royal heritage. The Impact on the Publishing Industry this incident raises important questions about the accountability of authors and publishers alike. In an era where memoirs and personal narratives are highly sought after, how can publishers ensure the authenticity of the stories they choose to publish? Penguin Random House's bold actions may set a precedent for greater scrutiny of memoirs moving forward. Moreover, this controversy could lead to a shift in how literary contracts are structured. If publishers begin to include clauses that hold authors accountable for the truthfulness of their narratives, we may see a significant change in the landscape of autobiographical writing. The implications could ripple through the industry, affecting not just high-profile figures like Prince Harry, but also everyday authors who share their personal stories. Harry's response. As the dust begins to settle, Prince Harry has yet to publicly respond to the allegations or the publisher's demands. Speculation about his next move is rampant. Will he issue a statement defending his narrative? Or will he choose to remain silent, allowing the media frenzy to die down? Only time will tell. In the meantime, his supporters continue to rally, emphasizing the importance of personal truth and the subjective nature of memoir writing. They argue that while factual accuracy is important, the emotional truth of an experience is equally valid. This debate touches on larger themes of memory, identity, and the complexities of recounting personal histories. A call for reflection. As readers, we must consider our own expectations of memoirs and personal narratives. Are we seeking truth in a factual sense, or are we more interested in the emotional resonance of the stories being told? This incident with Prince Harry challenges us to reflect on our relationship with autobiographical literature and the ways in which we engage with the narratives of others. In a world increasingly driven by sensationalism, 
This controversy serves as a reminder that stories are multifaceted. They can be shaped by personal perceptions and experiences, making them both rich and complex. Whether or not Prince Harry's memoir ultimately stands the test of scrutiny, it has undeniably sparked a crucial conversation about authenticity in storytelling. Conclusion The drama surrounding Prince Harry's memoir and Penguin Random House's strong reaction is far from over. As the literary world watches closely, one thing is clear. The boundaries of truth in storytelling are being tested. Whether this incident will lead to a shift in how memoirs are written, published, and consumed remains to be seen. One thing is for sure, the world of literature is never short of surprises, and this latest chapter in the saga of Prince Harry is one that will be discussed for years to come. So, dear readers, as you ponder the implications of this unfolding story, remember the power of narrative and the significance of truth in the stories we hold dear. Keep reading, because every story has more than one side, and the truth is often more complicated than it seems.